So now I will uh, unsolder the antenna and install a, a new one because I'm planning to install a more um, one where I can solder RG uh, uh, 316 uh, quartz cable. Okay, and now I will um, prepare the antenna, but before to resolder the metallic casing, it's important to reinstall it to avoid some extra RF uh, interferences. Uh, I would just install it with electrical tape just to attach it, that's all, and uh, it will be okay during the procedure of uh, soldering antenna. So, just install it like this. Of course, I tape where there is no caps to, to destroy. Okay, like this. And it should, be, should stay in place the time to to desolder okay won't move away so um, the idea is, is to uh, cut the uh, current uh, plastic uh, uh, cap in order to um, to install the uh, RP ACMA connector well I'll use the RP ACMA but if you prefer ACMA it's your choice so I, I will cut with a saw uh, this part so So I'll remove the um, top bolt like this and okay like this and you will see that it's blocked. We block the uh, the uh, antenna. Okay. So you can clean it with some sandpapers. So in order to make circular movement, and yes, now it's done. Correct. So well, uh, in order to prepare the antenna installation. So you have to know, for example, that the RG316 cable is more uh, large than the actual one. I guess it's uh, 178, not sure. Well, so you will notice that when you will try to uh, use the, uh, this uh, antenna mount, uh, this uh, locker, screw locker there, uh, will block it. And, um, I think I will uh, remove it. Uh, it means that the uh, radio will be um, closed by only four screws. Should be okay. It won't be uh, so drama. Um, also, to determine the length of the uh, wire, to be sure that probably here you will have the two RF ship around. So it means that you will integrate that the fact that the cable should be bent like this to give some free. Uh, Potential uh, uh, flexibility in the uh, in the element. So integrate this fact. Okay, so should have this kind of lens. Okay, here and uh, it will be here. Uh, okay, so after you have to cut it and prepare.
CDM. Vigilant, I don't have a precise. Okay, it's removed. So, as you may see now, you can find the two ground and the central antenna lead, and we prepare the RG316 cable now. So, I will use uh, this amount of lens. Okay. I will put my cable here. Okay, so I will check that uh, has largely enough, it's okay. And I will prepare the uh, connector. So, first, gently uh, remove the external isolant. Okay, so use a sizer or better, gently press on it and turn, but not too much stress to not cut the air. Uh, external uh, chill so this is time you will be able to to access to the okay remove to the shield split into shield Twist Sure to not have any small one in the middle and now I will do the same so remove the isolant of the internal connector the gently one
here is So the inner is the uh, lead power, lead antenna. So remove it, twist it. Try to have the maximum number of. So you have to know that uh, don't remove a lot of, of isolant because all visible. Uh, Parts are playing uh, the role of a small antenna, in fact, and uh, reduce the efficacy of uh, the the uh, transmitted power. So it's impact on the impedance of the uh, uh, tuned to 50 ohm. Okay, so do maximum this length, and if you can, uh, now we design a kind of fork. Okay, like this to prepare the soldering job. And if you can, even try to cut a bit the, uh, the central one, just a bit. Okay, so to not have a lot of uh, parts without connector. The same for the, the chill, not too much. I will also get a bit and the same here okay so now we prepare to solder so exactly like it was design a kind of fork and you should have something like this the central one you can start with the ground and or the central one is as you want okay okay now we prepare the uh, antenna so you have to pre-solder okay Like this, not too much. It's a bit on the central connector. Okay. Now I will prepare everything. So here is the radio. So let's say I would start with the. Uh, uh, why not the central one? So maybe I will add a small. And just um, voilà. so the central is done. First ground or so. And well. Okay, it's uh, completely done. So you have a bit flexibility. Well, no, not so much.
He's done. Don't add too much, okay, because it can create some uh, decrease the performance of the transmission. So, in tonight as well, solder it, okay. And uh, before to resolder the cover, uh, I strongly advise first to test uh, uh, if it's working, it's binding, so before to solder completely, okay. So, now, now I will. Uh, uh, I will have to uh, cut uh, this part in order to install correctly the uh, mount. I will use this uh, So, as you may see, okay, I think I have to cut a bit again. Not completely free. Be, be aware when you you are inserting your your coax cable to not constrain too much the uh, cable. So, well, it's quite solid, but. So be sure that there is no. Uh, block into your. Oh, it seems not bad. Oh, I forgot to answer that. Okay. Well. Maybe you will need to another extra spacer uh, if you cut too short. But anyway, should be not bad. So now uh, you will be able to install her uh, an antenna. Okay. So I will make a test like this. Uh, I will of course never plug your radio without an antenna plugged. It's very important to have at least a load, a 50 ohm, or your antenna installed. Okay, uh, before to test the uh, drum mode, uh, you have to change something in the hardware.ini. So, uh, before uh, to do any test, uh, remind that you have to install the antenna before to fire to power on your transmitter. Because if not, you can cook your um, uh, internal uh, transmitter, okay, the CF1. So be sure to have at least an antenna connected each time. So uh, what you have to do is to uh, start the remote by pressing the X, um, sorry, the end uh, button, top right button, and to turn on. 
and you will see that uh, you will open the, um, the uh, USB device and turn on. Go to the hardware.ini, uh, edit it with, for example, Notepad++, and you have to change this line here, okay, and to write one, okay. Uh, like this, uh, Deviation TX know that you uh, probably done the hard uh, mode. You have to save it, okay, and after close, and you can uh, eject the uh, key, turn off the uh, radio, okay, and now you will be able to see when I will start the radio. Okay, if you uh, go to any, uh, go to main menu, model menu, and if you go to model setup, you will see that if you choose a model with the uh, DSM2, for example, okay, you will be able, by default it's 10 milliwatt, but you will be able to, uh, for example, uh, have up to 150 milliwatt. In fact, 100 milliwatt is the legal value for 2.4 gigahertz. Okay, so uh, uh, be sure to modify the hardware antenna in order to test your dot mode. So, in order to test the um, uh, my dot mode, I installed the immersion HC uh, power meters. So, uh, be sure to connect. Uh, a load so the antenna be sure to tight more or less and you have to change in the hardware dot uh, you have to uh, set to one the enable uh, cf 6936 uh, uh, pa for power amplification so you will like to say that uh, division takes that you did the dot mode and after uh, I set the uh, uh, for immersion RC on the uh, uh, max peak, you can see here it. Um, I've got 100 uh, milliwatts, so uh, it's homogeneous with the uh, uh, with the emitted power. So uh, the third mode is working. Okay, now I check that the uh, uh, third mode works. I will um, solder the. Um, uh, the uh, metallic part, so I will remove the, uh, the tape here. I can still see the uh, my small wire. Well, the blue is uh, just uh, the isolant, but uh, so I will uh, reinstall the ground. It's better to have a shield for this one. So if I'm not wrong. Everything is like this. Uh, my iron is heating. Okay, so the last uh, stage before uh, to um, and the diode mode and the antenna mode. After you can uh, either continue uh, with the uh, uh, two switches uh, mode or uh, enjoy already your DSM2 and DSMX uh, protocol or a G6 Pro worker at full range. Okay, oh, yeah. Yeah. So install. So uh, the done is more, it's finished, and uh, well, uh, I will in any case install a small washer here because our metallic washer of uh, between six, the hole should be over six millimeter, but uh, uh, not over eight millimeter.